Hi, this is Caleb Yetkin. Today I'll be giving you a list of 18 Bible verses about God's will. Let's pray before we get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit and being Lord of our lives and Savior of our lives. Please show us what you want us to learn and apply it to our lives. With the truly Father, name I pray, amen. Let's get started. Number one, you can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Proverbs 19, 21. Number two, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Jeremiah 29, 11-13. Number three, pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need, and forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Matthew 6, 9-13. through 13. Number 4. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Matthew six thirty three. Number 5. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name, and cast out demons in your name, and performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Matthew seven twenty one through 23 Number 6 He went on a little further and bowed with his face to the ground, praying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Matthew twenty six thirty nine. Number 7 Abba, Father, he cried out, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Mark 14, 36. Number 8. Father, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Luke twenty two forty two. Number 9. For I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me. Not to do my own will, and this is the will of God, that I should not lose even one of all those he has given me, but that I should raise them up at the last day. For it is my Father's will that all who see his Son and believe in him should have eternal life. I will raise them up at the last day. John six thirty eight through 40 Number 10. Anyone who wants to do the will of God will know whether my teaching is from God or is merely my own. John seven seventeen. Number 11. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12.2 Number 12. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Ephesians 5.17 <coughs> Number 13. God's will is for you to be holy, so stay away from all sexual sin. Then each of you will control his own body and live in holiness and honor, not in lustful passions like the pagans who do not know God and his ways. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 through 5. <clears throat> Number 14. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Number 15. Now may the God of peace who brought up from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, and ratified an eternal covenant with his blood, May he equip you with all you need for doing his will. Hebrews thirteen twenty and 21. Number 16. What you ought to say is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. James four fifteen. Number 17. It is God's will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. 1 Peter two fifteen. Number 18. Do not love this world nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world... You do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving of physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away, along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. 1 John two fifteen through 17 I hope these Bible verses were helpful and you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think, learned, or any questions you have in the comment section below. Please be polite and respectful. Have a great day.